Hello friends. In this lecture I am going to explain about how LVDT means linear variable differential transformer works. LVDT works on the principle of variation of mutual inductance. It is one of the most popular type of device for measurement of linear displacement. Commercial LVDTs are available having full scale displacement range of plus minus 0.25 mm to plus minus 250 mm now look at construction of LVDT it consists of a cylindrical former it is surrounded by one primary winding called as primary coil at the center of the former the primary winding is excited by 1 to 10 volts AC voltage source and the two second rewindings are at both sides of primary coil are fixed called as secondary coil 1 and secondary coil 2 the number of turns in both secondary coils are equal and they are connected in series it consists of movable ferromagnetic core which is freely moves through the former now see how LVDT works. Here I am going to explain three positions for LVDT. First condition. Core at null position that is at center. Second condition is core at left side of null position. And third condition core at right side of null position. Now let us see first case in details. That is core at null position. The voltage induced in both the secondary coils are equal as EMF. Induced is same in both coils, which results in net output is equal to zero. Thus, from the measurement of the output voltage only, one cannot predict the direction of the core movement. So a phase sensitive detector is a useful circuit to make the measurement direction sensitive. It is connected at the output of the LVDT and compares the phase of the secondary output with the primary signal to judge the direction of movement. Case second. When an external force is applied and if the iron core tends to move in the left hand side direction then the EMF voltage induced in the secondary coil 1 is greater when compared to the EMF induced in the secondary coil 2 therefore the net output will give negative displacement case 3 when an external force is applied and if the iron core moves in the right hand side direction, then the EMF induced in the secondary coil 2 is greater when compared to the EMF voltage induced in the secondary coil first. Therefore, the net output will give positive displacement. LVDT having many advantages like 1. High range. The LVDTs have a very high range for measurement of displacement. They can used for measurement of displacements ranging from 0.25 mm to 250 mm. 2. No frictional losses. As the core moves inside a hollow former. So there is no loss of displacement input. As frictional loss. So it makes LVDT as very accurate device. 3. High input and high sensitivity. The output of LVDT is so high that it doesn't need any amplification. The transducer possesses a high sensitivity which is typically about 40 volts per millimeter. 4. Low hysteresis. LVDTs show a low hysteresis and hence repeatability is excellent under all conditions. 5. Direct conversion to electrical signals. 6. 
they convert the linear displacement to electrical voltage, which are easy. 7. They can also act as the secondary transducers. For example, the BDON tube which acts as a primary transducer and covered pressure into linear displacement. Then LVDT covers this displacement into electrical signal, which after calibration gives the ideas of the pressure of fluid. Disadvantages of LVDT 1. LVDT is sensitive to stray magnetic fields, so they always require a setup to protect them from stray magnetic fields. 2. They are affected by vibrations and temperature. Thank you for listening carefully. Watch my next video on Calibration of LVDT